Starting with some breaking news coming in. Sanjay Raut of the Uddhav Thakre faction caught on camera abusing union ministers. As he says, they speak on all other issues but do not speak on Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj's insult. But using unparliamentary language, he was seen abusing the union ministers and the entire statement was caught on camera. मैं एक ही उल्लेख किया है ना अमीर लड़तो चाहो सरकार मुझे जो खुर्चा ना फेविकल लाऊं बस ले आए जो इतर सगाई विषयों और बोलता है अन्य फक्त छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज ने चाहा फमाना और बोलत नहीं मलासा वाटलो तो आमलासा वाटलो तो कोड़ी तोरी एक हजार मायजा लाल स्वाभिमानी इंद्रामती उभ my colleague uh, Ankit is joining us on the broadcast with the details. Uh, Ankit, we're seeing Sanjay Raut in using unparliamentary language. He's seen abusing the union ministers. Yes, that's absolutely right. Like uh, being a member of parliament, this kind of a word which you, uh, Sanjay Raut is saying, it's completely uh, like if you see. Apart from that, they, uh, as we all know, the MVA government, they did a march as well on uh, on the disrespect uh, on the governor who disrespect Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. And again, uh, if you see in the, fo in the uh, footage, like uh, when the media was asking about, like uh, again, the governor was disrespect to the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. And on that, if you see, it's a clear uh, the Sanjay Raut was clearly targeting to the Shinde and Fadnavis government because they are not. They didn't say anything on that. MVA government was asked. They asked for the resignation of uh, 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 governor as well. But still, they had. They didn't say anything. Shinde Fadnavis government was clearly. They are quite on this matter. And because of that, this kind of a language, which is completely uh, uh, shame, uh, shameful as a, member, a person of a member of par parliament who is speaking on that, yes, definitely, uh, if uh, they did a march and they were completely against, uh, against a governor's statement which they are making, but talking about this kind of a language in front of, uh, in front of the people, in front of the nation, it's completely shameful uh, by Sanjay Raut. That's right, absolutely shameful and unfortunately, Ankit, this is not the first time Sanjay Raut has uh, garnered controversy for something like this. Abhishek is also on the broadcast with us. Abhishek, a uh, repeat offender, Sanjay Raut uh, has made such statements previously as well. Here as well, we're seeing him abusing the union ministers. See, definitely, and this one point is uh, very much clear, you know, right uh, from the day one of the controversy where, you know, Bhagat Singh Koshyari, the governor of Maharashtra, and controversies that has erupted against the leaders, right from uh, making statement against Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, and that is the point that has been picked up by Mahavikas Agadi unitedly, and they are cornering the Shinde Fadnavis government, and now today, we saw how Sanjay Raut made a controversial statement, in fact, using abusive language and daring union ministers who are sitting and they're directly hitting out at them and telling that you are commenting on all others matters that is possible, but not a single comment on the insult of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. And he clearly dared them. And okay. he was indirectly, you know, pointing fingers as those union ministers who are okay. from Maharashtra and telling right. them to resign and at least show some guts and where he used the abusive language, yes. Okay, all right. Stay on with us. Uh, we have Mr. Atul Bhatt Kalkar of the BJP joining us on the broadcast. Mr. Atul Bhatt Kalkar, if you heard the statement of Sanjay Raut using abusive language towards the union ministers. It is order of the day for Sanjay Raut to use abusive language against opponents like us. We condemn his statement in the strongest worded way, at the same time, he himself and his own party many times insulted Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. He is the fellow who asked proof that Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj's existence and his uh, varasdar. And so, Sanjay Raut, Shusena, other day, Uddhav Dhakre even stated that when Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj came out of Agra 
then he formed the swaraj here and so they do not know the history over the period of time they just played politics on the basis of hindutva and chatrapati shivaji maharaj bjp and so we will take legal action also because today he used foul language against central ministers of bjp and at the same time against chief minister and deputy chief minister and so this is nothing but to trying to create hatred among the people about central ministers and the whole system so definitely bjp will demand to file a case against sanjay rao Yes, but you know the politics of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj aside, we have uh, Majid Memon of the TMC also with us. But before that, I just want to ask you, Mr. Atul, uh, you know, Sanjay Raut is somebody who is a repeat offender. This is not the first time he has garnered controversy for something like this. Do you expect action to be initiated against him by Uddhav Thakre? No, no, Uddhav Thakre will not take action because Uddhav Thakre is the main uh, person behind all these things to use foul language. What type of language Uddhav Thakre used in Samna hmm. for BJP? He is the editor of Samna. Earlier also he used to same language. Same language. He he himself stated Chowkidar Chow hai in Pandharpur public meeting. So Uddhav Thakre is the main supporter of Sanjay Raut, and so we are going to file case against Sanjay Raut as a BJP. We are demanding okay. and definitely. At least we will file a private complaint against Sanjay Rao. Okay, so the BJP is going to file a complaint against Sanjay Rao for using these abusive languages. Uh, thank you for joining us, Mr. Bhatkalkar. Also, want to introduce uh, TMC leader Majid Memon on the broadcast with us. Uh, Mr. Memon, this is surely a new low in politics. Sanjay Rao using abusive words for the union ministers. Uh, thank you for joining us. Well, the uh, level of uh, political. Debates, discussions, comments, etc., has been so abysmally low that uh, I think people would only uh, entertain see, some kind of uh, hatred and reservation with regard to political leaders. We would have to stand up and uh, uh, show to the common people that when they choose you as your leaders, then you must conduct yourself in a, a fair way. In, in a moralistic way, in a decent way, abusing publicly is certainly condemnable. But unfortunately, this is not one-way traffic. It's happening both ways. We are finding that you know they are just uh, not only abusing; they are just uh, calling names. They are making all kinds of uh, uh, side statements. It is happening from both sides. So I think the a sensible person. and people educated people of this country they elected representatives and they can't be using such unparliamentary abusive language mr memon thank you for joining us on the broadcast we're keeping an eye on the developments on that story uh, let's